Hi everybody, Bob Kerner at the Patient Safety Institute in New York, and we wanted to share with our colleagues in the simulation community a little theatrical sleight of hand that we put together to meet the needs of our users. We often get requests to perform surgery on SimMan, and as you know, you can't operate on him without damaging his internal electronics. The particular request that we had was to perform open heart surgery to crack the chest open in the midst of a cardiac arrest code. And so we sat down and we thought, how can we accomplish that? The cracking of the chest while the rest of the team carries on with the cardiac arrest. And what we came up with is a homemade project using a project box that is commercially available. And I'm going to show you how we put this together and hopefully you can make good use out of the same basic principles. So what we've done here is we have SimMan, he's laid out, he's connected to all of his uh, pneumatics and electronics. And underneath him, underneath his surgical drape, we have basically padded up the under part of the drape here to make the size of the body look consistent. And up top here, we have a commercially available, this particular one is from Simulab in California, and it's basically a project box. Very, very realistic skin here, which peels off with Velcro. And underneath the skin, you can see there's a very realistic fat layer there. So the surgeons will cut through the outer layer of the chest cut through the fat layer and inside the box we have assembled a little surgical project for them to have to work on. We have uh, a ceramic heart. Uh, our particular simulation center does not have a permit for human tissue in the simulation center so we had to put something in there that was semi-realistic. But the bleeding blood vessel itself is a piece of latex tubing that we've made a little incision in and we will instruct the surgeons taking care of the patient that they'll have to ligate that piece of latex with some suture material. So our learning objective here is that they can continue to lead the code team even while being distracted with a cognitive load, in this case the cognitive load uh, being the operation of opening up the chest and ligating a bleeding vessel. So a simple project box, that's what it looks like out of the chest. It has little suction cup feet on the bottom of it. Uh, the suction cup feet don't sit perfectly well on Simman's chest. Uh, the next mock-up that we do here, we're gonna put some industrial grade Velcro on the bottom here and some Velcro on an old chest skin that we will dedicate to this project. Coming off the back of the project box here, we basically have a piece of latex tubing which feeds into a blood supply. In this case, it's an IV with red colored IV fluid and it's inside of a pressure bag underneath the stretcher. So when the case gets going, we'll release the clamp. That will start the vessel inside the chest bleeding very slowly. The team will come in, recognize that the patient is ex in extremis, start the code. The surgeons will open the chest ligate the bleeding vessel. So that's all there is to it. This is very simple. The box I think was about $400 and you're paying mostly for the skin here because it does have that realistic fat layer. Uh, I'm told that if you're very handy you can make your own skin and put it on there using a product that I think is called Dragon Skin. So you're not sort of married to the prospect of buying new skins each time. And the rest of it is all theatrical sleight of hand. We built up the rest of the bed and the stretcher to make it look like things were proportional between the project box and the rest of the mannequin. When he's draped up, there's really very little indication that anything has been substantially modified underneath the drape. So that gives the surgeon something to do. The rest of the code team will still have access to the arms to give medication. And most importantly, they'll still have access to the head and neck to manage the patient's airway. So all it took were some pillows, surgical drapes, and a project box. This project box, by the way, you can move around, put it down in the abdomen, put some bowel-like material in there. 
One sim center that I visited used old bicycle inner tubes and they use that to simulate bow. So you're only limited by your imagination and a couple of hours to build things up. So I hope this has been helpful. I'll put my email address and contact information below the video here and you're welcome to contact me if I can be any assistance. Thanks very much for watching.